Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to solve one problem under stress and strain. So, without wasting much time, let's start the analysis. We have this problem. Calculate the compressive stress in the piston rod when a force P of 40 Newton is applied to the brake paddle. Note, the line of action of the force P is parallel to the piston rod. Also, the diameter of the piston rod is given us 5 millimeters and the other dimensions shown in the figure are measured perpendicular to the line of action of the force P. So we are to look at this diagram that we have, which is the braking system of a vehicle. This is the brake pad and this is the piston rod. So now we know that the driver is applying a force of 40 Newton on the brake pad to cause the vehicle to stop. Are we okay? Now, when force is applied on the pad, it is going to move in this direction. It has to restore its position. So the piston rod is also going to restore the position in this direction, such that equilibrium can be established. Are we okay? So here, our duty is to find the compressive stress in the piston rod, this rod, after exerting an amount of force to restore the brake system back, what is the compressive stress inside the piston rod? So it is very simple. We are given some parameters. Let's write it down. Then we do the analysis. So first we have a force P, which is 40 Newton. We also have the diameter of the piston. So I'll call diameter of piston to be 5 millimeters. We can choose to work the area in millimeters or we can choose to work in meters. Are we okay? So here we have some things we have to pay attention to. Looking at the question, it says, note, the line of action of the force P is parallel to the piston rod. So when we look at force P, it is going this way. You see that. So the line of action should be parallel to a piston rod. Whatever force inside the piston rod should also be parallel to that of the force P. So one clue is gone. Another clue is, and the dimensions shown in the figure are measured perpendicular to the line of action of the force P. So looking at the line of action of force P, any dimension, this is giving us 2 to 5 millimeters. We also have another one here, which is 50 millimeters. And the question is saying all these dimensions are perpendicular. It is perpendicular because we have to do one interesting analysis. So let's write our parameters. So now that we have the diameter of the piston, we can find area. So now area, which is our pi d square on 4. So if we put in the values, then this is going to be 5 square. I'm trying to work in millimeters on 4. And this is going to give me 19.63 millimeter square. Are we okay? Now we have to calculate for compressive stress. Compressive stress. And we know that stress is giving us what? Force over a certain area. We are interested in the compressive stress inside the piston rod. Now we know the area of the piston rod. So we have to find the force inside the piston rod. How do we do it? Let me draw the free body diagram of the entire system so that we can make the analysis. So if I'm to draw the free body diagram, this is what we are going to have. It is going to be this way. We have we have it this way. Are we okay? And this is our force P. It is applied this way. 
this is force P, which is 40 Newton. This is also the force of the piston. Let's call it FP. And this is also the point we have. Remember, at this point, it is a pin reaction. So we are supposed to have a vertical force and a horizontal force. So let me call this point as A. I'll call the point of the force here as B and I'll call here as C. Remember, a free body diagram has all the dimensions included. So from this force to this place is given us 225 millimeters. And from here to here, we also have as 50 millimeters. So we are having about four of the forces and we are only interested in the force in the piston. What do we do? We can take moment, right? We can take moment at A such that all the Fx and Fy will vanish so that we will get a value for Fp. So taking moment at A, so we can see summation of moment at A such that we can consider one direction, clockwise or anti-clockwise. I will say all clockwise direction is positive. That should be zero. So now if I'm taking moment at A, then I'm going to consider FP and the force P. Looking at the force P about point A, it is going in a clockwise direction, meaning that is a positive moment. So that is going to be 40. And what is the perpendicular distance? Remember, it says all distance from P are perpendicular. And moment is the force times the perpendicular distance from the moment center. So what is the perpendicular distance from the moment center A to the force P? That is 50 plus 225. And that is going to give us a value of 275. Minus when we look at the FP, which is the force in the piston, it is going anti clockwise about the point. And what is the perpendicular distance? That is going to be 50 and should be zero. So, with this, if we are to make FP the subject, we are going to get 40 by 275 multiplying, or we can divide the whole thing by our. 50 such that our answer here we are going to get a force of 220 newtons are you okay so this is the force in the piston so luckily we have the area of the piston we have the force in the piston can we now calculate for the stress knowing the formula therefore the compressive stress in the piston is going to be the force which is 220 on the area remember we are working in millimeters now and that is going to give us a value of 11.21 force is newton per millimeter square are you okay in most cases compressive stresses you can negate the answer so we can say negative 11.21 Newton millimeter square, such that the examiner will know that this is a compressive stress, or you can write it as a positive value and indicate it as compressive with the C. Now, if you want to write your answer in Newton, because the standard unit of stress should be Pascal or Newton meter square, Newton per meter square, and now we have it in millimeter. So, in that case, Converting it to meter, you are just going to make it a mega. So this is going to be 11.21 mega newton per meter square. Are you okay? So this is the compressive stress inside the piston of this braking system. Very simple. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, like, drop your comment, and share to others. Thank you. Check out for the next episode.